So, yesterday I spent about 3 hours playing through the Indigo Disc DLC for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, so here's what happened. As soon as the game loaded, I received a call from none other than our beloved Director Clayville. He then proceeded to ask me if I was aware of the existence of the Blue Bear Academy, and informed me about an splendid opportunity to go visit this new location. This was made possible because I was invited by the Director of the Blue Bear Academy himself. The reason why I was invited was still unclear. At the end of the call, Director Clayville asked me to go to talk to him at the Naranja University, so I went there. As soon as I got to the Naranja University, I was greeted by a completely new character with the most drip I have ever seen. This character was none other than the director from the Blue Bear Academy himself, Cyrano. Short after, director Clayful showed up to further the conversation about us visiting the Blue Bear Academy. The reason behind our invitation was clarified by Cyrano being that one of his students at Kitakami met us and was impressed by our performance in the first part of the DLC, The Tilt Mask. His student was none other than Carmine. And we all know what happened in the first part of the DLC between me and her. She basically fell in love with me. Once our conversation concluded, Cyrano brought me to the Blue Bear Academy where I was introduced to another brand new character that goes by the name Lazy. He then instructed her to give me a guide around the Blueberry Academy because apparently he is too important to do that himself. As soon as the cutscene ended, I noticed that there were a couple of new Pokemon from old generations walking around with their trainers. We saw a Magma, a couple of Wingles, a Torchic, and an Execute. Once I was done looking around, I talked to Lazy again to start our tour, but just like Carmine, she wanted to test my strength in a double battle. Oh, and as a side note, she's actually the daughter of Clay. Clay being the ground type gym leader from generation 5, Pokemon Black and White. I was then handed a new outfit by Serrano that definitely matched the color scheme of the Blueberry Academy. I must admit, it is not as cool as his, but it works. We took the elevator down to the terrarium location on the water which gave me Fishman Island vibes from the One Piece anime. In there we have the Savannah biome, the Tropical Coastal biome, the Canyon biome, and last but not least, the Polar biome. Serrano took the time to give a little explanation about the Terrarium Core, which is the source of the energy required to allow Pokemon within the area to terrestrialize. He upgraded my Pokedex to include Blueberry Academy Pokemon, and both Serrano and Lazy left me behind to explore the new area, which I took to heart because I spent the remaining hours catching as many new Pokemon as I could to add to my newly upgraded Pokedex. And so, here we are.